<clears throat> hey everyone, Sarah Jean here. Hi! I'm super excited. I wanted to share another traveler's notebook with you. I know it may seem like I have a lot of traveler's notebooks. I actually do not. Um, I have been very fortunate to get out to... Sorry, blah, <laughs> Um, I've been very fortunate to get to try many traveler's notebooks um, while sort of searching for that one that's going to be like the Indiana Jones forever leather notebook that I'm going to show my grandkids in 50 years. Um, so in that search, I've gotten to try a lot of wonderful, lovely, amazing, amazing, amazing pieces of art from people. Um, but when I receive a new traveler's notebook that I end up sharing with you guys, the previous one usually is gifted or sold to a new home. So I only ever have one traveler's notebook. Um, my daughter has one, my husband has one, um, I'm trying to convert everyone in my family into using traveler's notebooks, so my mother-in-law has one, and I uh, gave one to a co-worker this last week. So I'm spreading the traveler's notebook love. Um, but this is my current, and I am absolutely blown away by it. I haven't ever owned anything like it. <clears throat> oh, so sorry for my throat, guys. I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, blown away by the leather. Um, I've never owned one like this. This is a Chic Sparrow Creme Brulee, and it is fantastic. Um, it's beautiful. I've owned it gosh, for two or three weeks now, I think, and it's stunning. Um, the only other Traveler's Notebooks I've owned by Chic Sparrow have been Mr. Darcy's, which I love, um, but this is very different from a Mr. Darcy, and I really love all the differences. As you can see, this has some lovely grain on it. Um, I've seen some cremes that are really pebbly, some that are really smooth, and I sort of seem like I have one that was in between. When I first got it, it didn't have the sort of darkened veining on it, if you will. Um, this I've moisturized twice. Um, I love to moisturize my journals as soon as I get them. <laughs> oh, sorry, my little, my little man just came in, so if we're wobbling, I apologize. Um, because I feel like it really brings out the natural colors in the leather and that's exactly what it did to my creme brulee is um, all of the places where it had sort of the veining in it really came out nice and dark and beautiful and it's stunning this leather is so soft it's soft and it's super pliable um, but it's Thick. It's a thick leather, so it, it holds its form and it holds its shape, but while also molding quite nicely over your inserts. It's fantastic. This is a Pocket Plus, so I have six inserts in it and a couple little dashboards. The pen holder is just placed perfectly on this, um, and I am in love with it. Um, charm I made for it. Uh, these types of charms I'm going to have going up into my shop later this week. I've decided to do some sort of like simple, simple style instead of the big danglies. So if anyone's interested, just check my Etsy shop um, in a few days and I should have some of these up for you guys. But let's get into it. I just wanted to do a little setup run through with you guys. My setup basically always stays the same. I've got stamps in my pocket. I've got some of those sticker cards you guys have seen before in my videos. Um, I finally found Target Dollar Spot Pockets, which I was super excited about because they're never at either of my Targets. So I bought a couple of packs and I've just got, you know, stickers shoved into them. Um, this first one is a dashboard that I made, which you can kind of see, except that I've got the sticker pocket on it. But it was just, um, this was just Target Dollar Spot note card that I bought forever ago. And it's a little bit shorter than a field notes, and I just decided to stick a pocket on it and put it around an insert as a um, dashboard. Simple, quick, didn't require any work at all. <laughs> Works out fantastically. You know me, I'm all about simple and quick. Um, this first one is a field notes, of course. This is the, God, what are they called? Ambition? Are they called Ambition? 
Yes, Ambition. This was a set that came out a couple years ago that came with three different types of books. Um, one of the notebooks was a, a week per page. So I'm sort of using this as just my running calendar right now rather than having like the month splayed out. I'm really liking this week's. Um, these cool tabs I got at Michael's. They have a new Bible journaling section at Michael's and um, that included um, blank stick-on tabs. So I just ended up tabbing in the months. So now I've got the whole year for forward planning. And then also if I need to refer back to something, basically the only stuff I'm writing on here is um, stuff that I may need to refer to later on. So appointments or dates where special things happened and such. Next insert is a shelter wood. Another field notes, one of my favorites, nice heavy paper. The cover is actually wood, which is kind of cool. And this is my, um, it's supposed to be my daily, although we haven't quite gotten to the daily point yet but I'm working on it if you guys just watched my journal share video you know that that's my goal is to get back into a day per page sort of journaling style for my daily even though it's like my to do's and planner and stuff this I just got today this is um, a field notes that was done for the company Nixon and you can actually still get these on their website I did not grab the other two, but they're all beachy scenes. There's this black and white one. There's a really beautiful like blue one, and then there's sort of a vintage sepia one. Um, and this is gonna be my new journal. I previously had a Tomoe River paper in here, again, that I was trying. And I get a few pages in, and I just have journal fail. Um, love the paper, love how it takes paints and inks. Don't like how it gets weighted down with adding things into it, like tippins and business cards and ephemera and photos. So I've decided today that I'm just gonna go back to my roots, and so we're gonna use this. Um, these pockets that you'll see, which have some just some really old kiddo photos in them, was just, um, so you have photo albums, like, and you have the clear pockets that are like the binder size that you can get to stick photos in. Well, this particular one just had one big clear pocket and then one big clear pocket. So I just cut that in half and I ended up using both uh, photo pockets for sort of a little dashboard. And then I just stuck a piece of scrapbook paper in it and throw an old photo in it. So voila, super easy. This is going to be my spiritual insert. So anything about any religious studies I'm doing, no matter what religion I happen to be studying at the moment will go in here. Um, I'm trying to do like Miracle Morning stuff and so that'll go in here. This also will be um, my physical health notebook journal as well. So all of that junk's all gonna go in here. Um, anything that pertains to spiritual, mental, physical health is going into this notebook. And this notebook was um, from Carhartt. You can actually still get these online as well through the um, Carhartt company. And these were really cool. I got a set of these for my husband for Christmas, which is why I also, of course, had to get myself a set. The next insert is just my brain dump. This is just a, a field note size notebook I picked up at Target in their notebook section for just a couple of bucks. And it's just my brain dump. So anything that doesn't go somewhere else will go in here. Um, my son was sick and I was keeping track of his meds in here and these were positive thinking books I wanted to look up and this was a list of things I wanted to put into the traveler's notebook that I made for my coworker. So anything that doesn't have another spot goes in here. Super simple. This is another note card pocket I made. Just stuck the note card in, stuck a pocket in, stuck some stickers in. You guys know me, super simple. Nothing special in the back pocket. This is the same list insert that I've had. You guys have probably seen this three or four times now. Um, list of books, conspiracy theories I wanna look into, um, paint swatches, um, I've got pin pal addresses in here, I've got just all kinds of information. Medical record numbers, important phone numbers, cause you know, none of us of course have phone numbers memorized anymore. This is just lists, any ongoing list that's going to be used for quite a while. Um, what else do I have in here? Social media tracking, um, Etsy order tracking, just anything that's an ongoing list. Um, this notebook's about half full. It's getting kind of messy and a little bit discombobulated, so I'm probably gonna update it soon. But for now, this is my setup. Um, I have two other little notebooks I'm also working in that are not living in my traveler's notebook. 
Um, one is that poetry one that I showed in a previous video, and the other is just a sort of little scrapbook journal just for my children. Um, the reason they're not in here is yes, I could definitely fit more inserts if I wanted to, but I sort of feel like once I get to like this width, it starts to make me uncomfortable for some reason. Um, and then also piggybacking, piggybacking inserts on the strands works as well, but I also tend to not like it as much. So what I realized is the reason I took out those two is those aren't notebooks I work in if I'm outside of the house. I only work in them for specific times while I'm sitting at my desk. So it really wasn't necessary to have them in my notebook because I wasn't, I wasn't referring to them when I was out and about and I also wasn't working in them when I was out and about. So those now live on my desk. Um, this is fantastic, I love it. Uh, once again, the moisture, moisturizer, excuse-moi, the moisturizer I use um, is not a leather moisturizer. It is a leave-in um, hair repair moisturizer that's made by the company Lush. It's called r and the letter R and the letter B. It's all natural, um, and I've used it on my traveler's notebooks for the last three or four years. Never had any issues with it. Um, it is a moisturizer, so it does darken leather, and it does bring out those other natural colors in the leather. Um, it even displaced some of the color, because now if you can see my my stitches have a little bit of a brownish tint. So use at your own risk. Um, like I said, it's not specifically made for leather. I do know that Chic Sparrow just came out, I believe, with her own leather balm as well. Um, so check her website, or I think maybe you have to call and request a sample of it. I, I, I Forgive me, I, my memory is failing me. So that's another option, because that is specifically made for leather. Um, but this is another option. Like I said, I've been using it for quite a few years. I've never had any issues. I love how it smells, and I love what it does to the leather. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. If you guys um, like this type of charm style, let me know. Um, I kind of feel like the big, dangly, sparkly, blingy charms have kind of gone out of style a little bit um, in the beginning of 2017. I'm really liking this sort of minimalistic charm. Um, it personally suits me really well. Um, I like that it stays out of the way. It doesn't, you know, and doesn't encumber my notebook. I mean, I love, I love the, you see guys, you see those photos of the traveler's notebooks on like Instagram and they've just got stuff like overflowing and it's so beautiful and these wonderful tabs and all these charms and they're just like bursting with like unicorn rainbow goodness. That is what I strive for, but, um, I always fall short and my, my traveler's notebooks always sort of look a little bit more utilitarian. So anyways, enough babbling. Let me know what you think of the charms. If you like the style, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, my planning system and journaling system is fairly straightforward and simple and sort of fly by the seat of my pants because that's just what I do. Okay, you guys, I hope you're having an amazing day. Share your videos with me, link your links. I will see you guys all next time. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a wonderful day. Bye.